Did you know there is a secret Stonehenge here in Kent that is a thousand years older than the real one? Did you know that, Josh? No, I did not. Well, you're gonna find out tonight because I've brought you here without you knowing where you're really going. So <laughs> we've just made our way up like these really twisty country lanes. We come face to face with a Tesco delivery van, which was mildly it's quite terrifying. Scary. But we've made it to our destination. We're the only ones here, which it's is really a bit busy, creepy. as you can see. No, we're not the only ones that are we're here. We're not the only ones here, no. We have some sheep. But this one over here, where's he gone? It's this one. Is this one? This one right here. Just a minute ago, when I was about to start and try and start opening the video, just kept bleating at me. And now that we're recording, he's, he's still just staring at me. He's a bit confused. Hi. Maybe if it. Maybe, oh! There's bugs, we're in nature. <laughs> maybe if I go back up here, he was bleating at me up here. I was reading the sign, it says there's alpacas in there as well. Oh. But I can't see any Well, alpacas. the field goes all the way down, so. Maybe we'll see them as we walk. Anyway, we're at Coldrum Long Barrow. Well, actually, we're not yet. We're at the car parking for Coldrum Long Barrow. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces. We're the only ones here, but it, I imagine it gets busier. We've got a bit of a walk until we actually get to it. Don't know how far I walk. Don't know if we've got to go up the hills because we're literally in the North Downs. So, um, don't need good research then. Yeah. Sorry, I thought there was a bug crawling well, on me. Well, it's not an adventure if you know everything about it before you get there, is it? There's not going to be any coffee in this video, though. I'm from sorry about that, Josh. It's fine. I'm right, over. let's go. Are you coming? I don't think so. No, I don't think he is either. <laughs> right, we think we're going this way. I mean, I don't think we're going this way. There's a footpath sign there, and there's literally a sign that says. Coldrum Long Barrow right this so way. So much bugs everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, oh. They're everywhere. They like just keep climbing on. That's what happens when you come into nature. At least they're only little ones and they're not ones that are going to like sting or eat you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this looks quite nice. I don't know if it's all going to be paved like this all the way along or whether we're going to have to ramble off into a field. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of rambling involved. Also, probably just me talking. Well, it's not paved anymore here. It's starting no. to get a bit bumpy. Out. And it's also starting to go uphill a little bit. I don't really think that's going to show up on the camera. But uh, Before we left, I said to Jason, I was like, shall I put some of my old shoes on? And he said, yes. Yeah. And he also said to me, are we going to be climbing any mountains? I mean, I don't think, I don't know what part of the world you think we live in. This is Kent. There aren't any mountains. Hills. That is a hill. I mean, it is a hill, but it's not that bad, is it? I can't see what's around the corner, though. Exactly. See, that hill was easy. No. Not even a hill. Easy peasy, but now we're going down. Yeah, but look at this. How beautiful is this? It's so I cool. I was going to run and sing, the hills are alive. But there's other people out for a walk, and I'm sure they don't want to hear you wailing no. in the countryside. That's no. not what people are here also, for. Also, there is a fire in the area, and there's loads of ash. Yeah, dropping falling. out of the sky. You're not going to be able to see it on the camera. We're like, what's that? It is. It's ash. Yep, it's not snowing. It's not snowing. <laughs> it's weird though, because the ground here is obviously very clayey and yeah. chalky because it's like a grey colour. It's really weird. Anyway, downhill now. Here we go. That. Oh, oh. Here we go. Did you catch it? A bit of ash. Oh, yeah. Ooh. -ah. Well, you can't say it's not well signposted, which no. is good for us because um, we often get lost. Yeah, there's one there and literally. Another one right there as well. There. <laughs> Just in case you lose your way around the corner. Around the corner <laughs> and you might find another one. Well, looks like we found it. That wasn't too difficult at that all. It wasn't difficult at all. Also, there's like a little stairway there the plank. In case you want to walk the plank. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what these are. Oh, I reckon Peter Pan and that it's have been here. What? It was a bug on my. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Always drama. Always drama. Yeah, I don't know the significance of the feathers. Maybe we shouldn't ask too many questions. Maybe not. Also, it's very warm and very still. It's very humid. Very quiet. But at least the sun's gone in for a little bit because it's yeah. been roasting today. Anyway. Oh. There's things hanging from the trees. Oh, great. The, well, I'm getting let's flashbacks go. of this is a zoo. What's it called? The Weird Woods. The Weird Woods we went mm. to. That's another story for another day. But this is probably because it's like um, like Stonehenge. People actually come here, don't they? Like pagans and stuff. Like that's that's normal. I see trees of green. I see like a tortoise. Things. Oh, okay. 
this is what Josh was talking about. There's all these things hanging off of the trees. There's all like ribbons on the fence. I've just noticed up here, if I can find it on the camera, is that Christmas decoration? What is that? I don't know. They must it looks have like a bauble. They must have climbed up very high to get that. What's really weird though is, if I just look here, out into this field, that's where we've literally just walked along. Just there and come around this way. We could have literally come around the edge of the field. But you wouldn't have even known any of this was here no. from over there. <laughs> Mysterious. The sign, but anyway, we can see it. I mean, if you want to sit down and, you know, think about everything, there's actually a bench looking out to this. Or you could just lean like that. But it's a pretty nice view, though. Look at that view. It's a stunning view. It's very it? nice. So, I've got some bits to tell you about this. Okay. I'm not an expert by any means. I know. So, this apparently was the subject of an argument in the 1800s between two so-called experts. One insisted that it was a stone circle, exactly the same as Stonehenge. The other was like, no, 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 not a circle. It's a rectangle. It's a burial chamber. Right. And there was this big argument, which one it was, which one it was. And then they settled on the rectangle burial chamber. So it's not actually a stone circle like Stonehenge, but they're still like sacred stones. I mean, it's a lot small. I mean, as you can see, it's just here and then round here. So I think the way it would have been though, is the burial bit would have been underground. Yep. And these rocks would have formed like an outer wall. Right. And then that at the far end was the entrance. I can't work out if you can go in there. I mean, people must have gone in there. People have gone in under the fence, but um, I'm, I've seen pictures of people in there. Do we go in there? I don't know. I don't know. What if it's like enchanted and if you set foot in there, it's like the ancient Egyptian pyramid. You like turn to dust. I think you're thinking a bit too much into it. Maybe. Also, is that a necklace I can see hanging from there? I don't, there's all sorts. There's all sorts there. of things it's, hanging. They're all the way over there, look. That's I mean, what I mean. So to people... get them on there, people have obviously got in there, and that's quite a funky should we, one. Should we go in and have a little look? There's nothing to say you can't. There is no, there is no sign here to say you can't. So, I mean, I'd, okay, there is a fence. I also wonder if we carry on down that path, if you can see the front. Maybe, we'll nip round there in a minute and have a look. Yeah. This is a turtle I was saying about. And this seems to be a... Oh, there we go, a snake. Oh. Why does it always have to be snakes? I don't know. Snake. Comment down below snake. if you know what film that's from. <laughs> so we've discovered that if you follow the path all the way round, it brings you to another little set of steps that you can actually get down in front of the entrance. I like it. Now what's really interesting after the story I've just told is this sign actually says Cauldrum Stone Circle, even though they know now it wasn't a stone circle. Interesting. And obviously we've down in front of the entrance here, which is kind of cool. The stones aren't in the place that they would have originally been. Obviously they are thousands and thousands and thousands of years old, but there is a handy little sign here that shows you exactly what they would have, oh, wow. what it would have looked like. It almost looks like a dinosaur. So <laughs> this is this. Would have this been here, the yeah. So these are the entrance stones, I believe, uh. but they wouldn't have been quite like that. They would have had this big flat one on the top, which is probably one of these that's now down the bottom somewhere. And then it's got these all the way around it, which are the ones obviously you can see up the top. But I suppose the ground and that subsided over the years and these ones have all fallen down. And now it's this. Do you know, I would never have known that until you showed me that picture. That's really cool. I know. Simple, right. isn't it? Simple as simple. Also, this sign points you in the direction of some others. There are some others in the area, but there's not a lot left of those, I believe. Although it does say that there's surviving standing stones and chambered tombs. So maybe we'll have to find those another day. Yeah, and then over done. here, Kit's Coty House. Yeah, we'll leave a link to that video Popping at the end because stone. that what was a day. I don't know, but it says it's destroyed. Oh, right, okay. Oh, oh, with the standing stone. So it's probably just one stone left of something else. Okay. But yeah, we haven't done little Kit's Coty yet. Maybe that's for another day. It just amazes me that something like this, it's just down the road. Well, not necessarily kind of down the road from us, 
it's about what 40 40 minute drive from us about a 40 minute drive 40 minute yeah. drive there was some traffic so it took us a little bit longer but it was worth it this is so cool and, and i feel like i feel like i'm on the road trip and, and not only is it over a thousand years older than the actual stone you're very warm thank you yeah. it's also completely free to come and see and completely free to park yes if you're no. if you're fine with navigating the country roads we'll show you what they were like on the way back yes and if you're a regular viewer you know we love the free car park oh yeah oh yeah as you leave this down we can come over this we can walk the plank shall we say oh my god this is scary well it's not really scary and then you are greeted there is views all the way around this place i feel like we should come back here though because there's literally footpaths off in every direction up through these hills yeah and we're not even anywhere near the top of the hills yet so the views up there must be even more spectacular obviously we'd have to work harder for them but obviously you know i don't feel like we're going to get time to do that this summer though before we go to california so no. if we get a nice day in the autumn it would be perfect We're going now. Are you gonna say goodbye? Or are you all camera shy? I can't remember, I don't know which one was bleating now. Is it him over there? It was one of the, they had like a dark coat Is it him? Yo, we're off. I thought you smelled funny. Not funny. Don't think he's interested. This is the road that I thought was actually someone's driveway, but it's not. Also, there is a lot of manure on. <laughs> manure. manure. It's well signposted from the actual road. It though. is, yeah. I don't know what I'm indicating. There's no one here to there see me. There is no one here. But it literally is in the middle of nowhere. Oh, <laughs> these are our tiny little roads, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is two ways to two fool ways. our American viewers. <laughs> we saw a really nice village on the way here. So we're going to quickly drive through there and show you guys as we're going home because it was beautiful. That is if I find the right way well, because I've decided I'm going to be brave and not put the sat nav on. This is where the adventure starts. Where did you get <laughs> lost today? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this view though. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. So this is the little, oh, that pigeon nearly got me. This is the little <laughs> bit. I mean, look at these houses. These are quite cute. I love the, um, what's the word? Pebbles? Is it pebbles? Bricks. Bricks. <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the word. It's just, oh wow, look at that one. That's nice. Lovely. And then you're a, uh, Back at the country. Oh, speed, speed bump. So that is it for that little exciting little adventure. We survived the roads on the way back, even though we nearly got taken out by an Acado delivery truck on the way back. That's crazy. So if you're, if you're going to go down this area, watch out for big delivery drivers because they are everywhere. It could be really quiet and then all of a sudden, bam, <laughs> gonna get you, squish you like a bug. Yeah, exactly that. But we will leave our Kits Cody video on screen for you to watch now because that was a much longer adventure up much steeper hills. We got very lost that night, but it is one of Kent's most iconic megalithic sites. And thank you to our patrons who are on screen now for supporting all of our videos. 